Hey everyone, this is Manly Bastard, and welcome to My Big Sister, an adventure horror game from the creator of Just Ignore Them. In it, you play a sister who spent some quality sister time with her uh, big sister. The Marketplace. I had that dream again. It's like a broken record, going around and around, but never stops. One day, I hope it does. Where am I? I can't leave. Why am I here? Anybody. I need to find a way home. No, seriously, where am I? We, we got teleported to some kind of Blade Runner town. I can't open it. The lock looks broken. It's an air duct. Maybe I can get out of through here. It's pretty dark in there. I need to find a light before I go in. It's a poster for a cola company. Feel fresh with our new cola buzz blast. The Balto is stuck between her boobs. Excuse me. Can you please tell me where I am? This game has apparently has an auto read. This is a downtown marketplace. Are you lost? I'm not sure. Where are your parents? I'm not sure about that either. Well, maybe you should just wait here. It will make it easier for them to find you. Okay then. Say, you haven't found a key, have you? I dropped it around here somewhere. No, sorry, I haven't seen a key. Mmm. That smells delicious. Hello there, child. Are you lost? I, I don't know. I fell asleep. Next thing I knew, I woke up here. Well, if you need anything, my darling, come see me. How about some of those tasty noodles? I'm starving. Well, sure. A cost of money, though. Here. Wait, no, you gave it to me for free. Oh. Yum. Mmm, yum. Well, there's a quick note, just in case you ever like look up screenshots of this game or playthroughs, but like, inconsistency. There is two graphical settings, and one is supposed to be high quality. Um, and I, I tried it out, and it I think it just does like this kind of, in my opinion, to me anyway, it looked like, kind of ugly, like when you smooth like an emulator sprite or something. So I prefer the more natural pixelated form. Uh, you can tell I'm one of those type of retro gamers. It's pretty dark down there. Wait. There's something shiny down there. But I can't fit through that gap. I'll need to find something to reach it. Alright, so, we know what we're doing. We need a light, we need a key, we need a poking stick. They're animal cages. They smell rotten. They must have let them die in here. The poor things. What's that in there? A key. But I can't reach it. My hands won't fit. Okay, I need a t poking stick here, too. Excuse me, do any of you have a poking stick? I need to poke, thanks. You can keep the chopsticks, darling. Thanks. Now I've got a poking stick. Or two. I 
I guess I have to manually select it, maybe? I can use the chopsticks switch key a little closer. Gotcha. I wonder where it locks. Item found. It's unlocked. Whoa! What are you doing here? I feel like this is a cold start story. I want to help you, Luzia. Not here, people will see you. But I... Just go away. Luzia. Just go. It's too risky for her to be seen by others. I'm sorry, Sombria. We'll figure this out soon. Hey, there's something I can use. A coat hanger. There's nothing else useful in here. I can use this to reach that shiny thing. Money? It's a keychain with a torch on it. This could be useful. I don't need this coat hanger anymore. She said after she mentioned she needed it later. What's well, that money? But this torch. Flashlight. Could be useful. In the quest for money. Okay, I should be able to see where I'm going now. I hope this will help us find a way home. A bad dream. And just like that. Our lives would change forever. Cutscene? It's the same dream. Every night. Dream? Or was it? Great. Now I can't sleep. I better see what Zombie's up to. There's no pun there, is there? Like, so Zombie? Can't use it. My laptop needs to be charged. Maybe you should charge your laptop before you go to bed, huh? Let's see, I can turn... Manual text. Okay. There's nothing in here but my uncle's lucky screwdriver. Why the hell is this here? Does he forget his tools every time he fixes something here? It'll become useful later. I always hated this picture. My bow is crooked and everything. Jeez, Mom. Look at this, look at this confident stride, like boom, 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 boom. That's a good stride right there. I'll watch TV a little later. I can't believe Mama's that stupid cat drawing. I did that when I was like three. I should have drawn a tiger. Much cooler. I would use this mug. But the zombie's been slobbering all over it. Yuck, it smells like cigarettes. Why has mom not noticed it yet? I better not. I already hate the dark enough as it is. I don't need to go to the bathroom. What's an SP? Save point?
Can we switch save points or like one save, one go? Ooh. Better hope, uh, hope I don't get a game crash at some point. Aha! Uh -huh. Thought I could smell you here. Oh great, smoke please. So, you gotta tell mom? No, as usual. I can't sleep, zombie. Why do you still call me that? Well, what do your friends call you? Smoke. Soma. <laughs> That's stupid. I'm gonna keep calling you zombie. It sounds like you're calling me zombie. See? Does it look like I'm a zombie? Sometimes, when you're getting out of bed or the shower... Shut up, Louisia. You look like a creepy doll sometimes. Yeah, but you can still cuddle a doll. I wouldn't cuddle a zombie. You have not clearly seen... Zombieland Saga. So, why can't you sleep? I had that dream again. Which one? The Chinese markets? Or that German singing alligator? Really? I was trying to forget about the alligator one. It was a Chinese market one. Oh, the one where I'm like a ghost or something? Yes. Does that worry you at all? Why? It's a dream. But you're dead in it. It's just a dream, Luzia. <sighs> okay. But don't say I didn't warn you. You overreact too much. It's not like we're in some kind of game. Put my big sister over an ominous title screen. And like, you know, my name's a pun or something. And some kind of dramatic reveal or things gonna happen. And you know, things are just gonna go downhill from there. You know what I mean? It's not like it's foreshadowing anything. You bring it back to bed. Mom's gonna be home soon. Besides, it's cold out. I'll be heading inside in a minute. Okay, I'll see you inside. Oh, we're gonna go for a glass of milk. And just where do you think you're going? Hmm. Well, Mom, just the kitchen for a glass of milk. Is that okay with you? Typical eight-year-old. Um, I'm twelve, duh. Whatever, and just hurry up and get to bed. Mom's gonna be home soon, and you'll be in trouble then. Don't worry, I'll just tell her I was having a quick smoke before bed. Just hurry up, Luzia. Okay, okay. Ish. Gee, I wonder why Assface gets to stay up so late. She doesn't even do anything besides be annoying. Maybe I should tell Mom she's smoking. But then, she'd probably tell Mom about the roach. There's nothing wrong with keeping one as a pet. They're probably cleaner than her. That's true. Okay, I better go to bed. Hey, you hear that? Huh? Sounds like Mom pulling up in the driveway. You better get to bed, now. Oh crap! Hey, watch the language, Luzia. Bed. Now. Where's the sister's room? I should be able to sleep now. Squeak. Okay. This is not working. Why can't I sleep? Oh yeah. 
the lights are still on. Acting like you can't go to sleep with the lights on. I've done that plenty of times. I'm just a bad as zombie sometimes. And it's dark? Yeah, it is a little weird. Must be a fuse or something. I know I'm gonna get in trouble for this, but what the hell? Mom? Mom? Maybe somebody's just trying to scare me again. Zombie? Zombie? Sombria? Great. Guess I'll just go fix the damn thing myself. Things to get for shadow and usually aren't a good. Nope. Oh. Huh? It's a zombie. If this is some sick joke, I'm telling mom. Did you hear me? I bet she wants me to follow that trail. But guess what? I'm not dumb enough to fall for that. I bet she's hiding in, in the kitchen. Huh. She's not in here. Maybe she's hiding in the bathroom. Maybe she's dead. Zombie? Some some pretty open up. I didn't know we were in there. Zombie? Don't tell me I have to go outside. Huh? What's going on? Wait a second. That's not mom's car. Zombie's boyfriend, maybe? Does he own a moving truck? She better not be hiding in there. Are you in here, zombie? Oh! So. Zombie! Lucia, you need to. Somebody, what happened? Run, Lucia, run. Oh no. Oh no. My big sister. Title drop. Is this all real? I don't need any help. I'm fine, there's nothing wrong with me. Something's got to give. It's all her fault. This was a... of a weird skip. So, Lucia? What are we going to talk about today? I don't know. Well, how about we start with these... dreams? Have you had any lately? No. Lucia, you're not going to get any better if you don't cooperate. Can I ask you something? Sure. Why am I here? You are here because you are mentally ill, Lucia? No. Why am I really here? Every time I'm here, all you talk about is my dreams. Maybe it's not the dreams. Maybe it's me. Your dreams are the key to your illness, Lucia. The key to your sister's death. Somebody is not dead. <sighs> Look, Lucia, I don't want to go down this path again. You need to accept your sister's death. Okay, I'll accept it then. Really? You finally come to accept it. Yep. I accept that she's alive. Maybe the medication is causing his hallucinations. We'll have to cut back your dose. I haven't been taking them. I stopped months ago. You... haven't been taking them? Yep. So she's alive! Lucia, her body was identified. She's dead. Look, this is getting a bit silly. The thing is, 
What? Well, do you believe in the afterlife? Well, I don't know. You mean like ghosts, right? Well, sort of. Ghosts can't touch anything. So, like a poltergeist. Maybe. Do poltergeists eat? I, I don't think they do. Why do you say that? Someone has not seen Casper? Or Ghostbusters? Or Ghostbusters animated series? Or Ghostbusters Extreme? That was a thing? Because Zombie eats. What does she eat? Noodles. Oh. Oh, and people. Ah, uh, that's... Okay. The people. Oh, yes. But only when she's mad for some reason. Lucia, I think you need to start taking your medication. It will help you. I promise. It won't help. I promise. Oh, man. Whoa. Youch. You okay, Lucia? I want to try something with you. Your bats are simply too good for your age, and we need to tame that. So I'm going to give you a dose of anti-bat serum. And this will make you more of a... normie. <laughs> oh, do you find something in this room? Something that relates to you and how you feel. It could be anything you wish. Once you have an item, bring it to me. Just... be careful with some of the items. I want to keep everything in its place. Okay. Oh wow, brain. I'll take this. Squishy mom a brain. So you brought me the brain. That's interesting. Please take a seat. Why pick the brain? I don't know, it's pink. Maybe because it's pink and- <laughs> Well, it may symbolize something. To me, it means intellectuality. And you seem like a smart girl, Lucia. You can tell by your bants. Well, some of you thought I was smart too. A smart ass. I can see why. What puzzles me is that you're an intelligent girl, but you still insist your sister is alive. Well, she is, sorta. Look, I don't want to talk about her anymore. But we still have 20 minutes left, Lucia. I get paid by the minute. A hundred dollars for every 30 seconds. I said no more, please. Lucia, don't make me angry, please. My check relies on this. Remember what happened last time? Yes. Now let's get back. You know you can't do that to me anymore. Do, do what? Hurt me. Lucy, I only do that because I want to make you better. Touch me. Uh-oh. Lucy, that's our little secret. Huh? No, 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 don't do that. Do what? What's going on, Lucia? Oh, someone's lunch. It's not his fault. Don't do this again, please. I keep taking the blame. Lucia, please tell me what's going on. It's too late. She's made up her mind. I'm so sorry, Mr. Black. What the hell is going on here, Lucia? Sup? What is that thing? This is Sombria. She's supposed to be dead. Told ya. Keep away from me. Wait, zombie. What the hell? Enjoy. Wait, what? Later. Oh man, that was like really clean and fast. I thought it'd be gory. Jeez, zombie. You may as well have licked the chair clean. No blood or anything. He was mean to you, Lucia. Don't put on me on the voice, zombie. You're not scary. Lucia, 
I can't keep this up. I can't live like this. You're fine, zombie. Don't put yourself down. I'm a hideous creature. And I don't know if I'm alive or dead. Well, at least you're out of your room finally. This isn't funny. Why do you always have to make jokes? It's better than being depressed. You wouldn't know what being depressed is, Luzia. Hey, I'm sorry, zombie. I want to help. You can, Luzia. No one can. Well, I'm here if you want any help. Or a snack. That's what sisters are for. Wow, Luzia, I can't believe you just said that. Thanks. It's okay. Let's go home. Uh, okay. So, is there any money we can steal here? Maybe a gold ring or something? Hey, a doll! Maybe it's just me. Dolls creep me out. Anything else I can loot here? I'll wash my hands later. I remember my uncle said he was eaten by a toilet once. He's weird. That still sounds quite terrifying. I wonder if this could be some kind of weird plot link to just ignore them. It was like weird science ghosts or something, I think, in that one. Just a bunch of sporting magazines. It's just a bunch of brochures for holiday parks. Hey, this place doesn't look too bad. Dayfield Motel. It's got a western cowboy store vibe. Sounds like a nice place for a vacation. That's strange. There's no one in there. See, I don't know if this story is literal or not yet. We, we, it could be some weird psychological thing too, like... Like, who knows? Some weird coping mechanism. Huh? The door is locked. What the hell's going on? Oh, that's a shame. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? Just like everyone else. I've got some issues I need sorting. What about you, darling? Taking your sister out for lunch? Don't you have noodles to sell or something? Don't you have a sister that needs your help? There's nothing else I can do for her now. She doesn't want any help. That's what they all say. What do you mean? Do you think she wants to ask for your help? But what do I know? I'm just an old lady. But you said you saw yourself. She can't be changed back. What is going on? It doesn't mean she can't be helped. Put yourself in her position. Then tell me how you would feel. That word zombie said before. Depressed. Gosh. I don't know why you're seeing this fool. I should start my own clinic and get out of noodles. Is there a way to get out of here? Maybe it's a ghost. All these dream people are ghosts in her head. I can help Sombria. You're 12. You're better at figuring this stuff out than me. Besides, the key to your problem is better off flushed away. Toilet. But first. That's a little weird. Is that a hand? It's holding a key. You have got to be kidding me. There's gonna be some real twists this plot, and I don't know what it's gonna be yet. It's gonna be there, but what it is, I don't know. Oh no. 
No, 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 no. The door is locked. Huh? Uh, what's up, sis? Oh, it's just you. Hey, look, zombie. I didn't really mean what I said back there. It's just that I'm trying to make you, uh, ha- Zombie? Wait. Why do you look normal? Why did you do this to me, Lucia? You ruined my life. I wish you were never born. Zombie, I'm really sorry. Go to hell, Lucia. I wish you were dead. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should have been the one that died. Well, I can arrange that for you, little sister. Die, you little pest. Uh-oh. What? Zombie? I, I think she's gone. She's getting worse. And I keep making it worse. But don't worry, Sampria. I will fix this. I promise. I hope that's a door unlocking. Can't tell if the entire storyline just one guilt trip. Or if it's a real ghost. Or not a real ghost or what. Great, now I can get my stuff. I mean, now I can get out of here. Feeling sick, my darling. You took your time in there. It must have been something I ate for lunch. Okay, dear. See you next time. I hope I don't see you anymore. <laughs>